Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to create a simple text-to-speech application just using TKinter. Well, it's custom TKinter. This is going to be a beginner-friendly tutorial and you can follow along to create this application. We will be using a tool known as Buildify to create the user interface, so you don't have to write the code for the user interface. By the way, there are some cool and exciting updates for Buildify. So let's start the tutorial. Alright, so here is the preview of the app. So this is the final application that we are going to create. This is a simple text to speech generator. So first of all, you have to do is feed in your text. For example, let's say, let's feed in that. Hi, this is me, British from Proxylite. And as you can see over here, we have the characters. And you can click on this generate button in order to generate the audio file. And the audio is finally generated. So let's have a look at the preview. Hi, this is me, Pratyush from Proxlite. It sounds natural. So let's start creating the basic GUI or the front end. So for creating the front end part, I will be using a tool known as Buildify, which will help us to create the entire application front end without writing a single line of code. Then we will be implementing the back end part. I have already created a tutorial on Buildify, so you can watch that video. Now there are many issues like some were saying that it was a virus, nothing like that because this was created using PyInstaller which is Python based. That's why it is giving a false positive virus detection. So I am assuring you that this is completely virus free and you can use this tool to create amazing looking application from scratch. Alright so here we are in the interface. First thing first we are going to change the application name. Let's change it to text to speech application. Then we are going to add an image widget over here. So if you don't want this manual process, then you can also download the pro version or even though you can download the project file from the description down below. And let's change the properties like width and height. You can create this entire UI in this application, but for saving the time, I've already created a background image of this GUI so that it would be easy for us to continue. So in the recent update, we have added text box to Buildify. All you have to do is drag it in and then change its property. Like the width, height and the border color, every single thing. Now let's add a button so that users can click on that generate button in order to generate the audio. Let's change the text to like generate. Then you can change its property like foreground color, background color, hover color and etc. Alright, now it matches our theme. So now I will be adding a label which will be for the character's limit. So just add a label and change its width and height. And also change the foreground color over here. And I will be also changing the text color. And also I will be changing or renaming the text like 0 to 1000 because we will be giving a limit of 1000 words. Alright, the UI looks super great. Now what we have to do is simply export it. So click on over here and then export to pi file. Now you can save it like text to speech UI or text to speech GUI and then hit save button. So we will begin by importing the libraries required to build our app. The path leaf helps us to handle the file paths. The custom TK Inter, we will be using it to design our modern looking interfaces. By the way, it has already been written by the Buildify app. And the message box and the simple dialog modules lets us show the pop-up message and ask user for the input. Now we will be using pillow module in order to display the images. And finally for the text to speech conversion, we will be using PyHT API. In this part of code, this sets up the file path for the images and other resources. The output path represents the folder where the script is located. The assets path points to a folder named as assets that holds our image. The relative to asset function takes a file as input and returns the full path to that file in the assets folder. 
Now this makes it easy to access files without worrying about the long or complicated paths. Now before we can use the PlayHD services, we need the user login in their credential. This function asks like the user ID for the unique identifier and the API key that ensures the secure access. You can sign up for PlayHD API and you will get your user ID and API key. Now over here, the simple dialog dot ask string function shows the pop-up box for entering the information. Now this parameters hide the API key while typing to protect it. Alright, so for instance, we will be set appearance to light mode so that our app theme is light and the default color theme is green. Now in order to update the text counter, this function will keep track of how many characters the user had typed. Now the get method reads all the text from the input box. If the length exceeds 1000 character, we will delete the text and show a warning. The text counter dot configure method updates the display count showing something like 300 by 1000 or 200 by 1000. Now this is the main part, how we can save and implement the text to speech generation. We get the text input from the user and then a client object connects the PlayHD services using the user ID and API key. We specify a voice in the TTS options. The TTS method sends the text to PlayHD and returns the audio data in chunks. We save these chunks into an mp3 named output.mp3. Now we can catch the error and show it in a pop-up box. By the way, we have created the entire interface using the buildify. So we all have to do is now implement this code. Now the final piece of the puzzle is starting the app. The main loop functions keeps the window open and waits for the user interaction like typing text or clicking the button. So this was it, how you can create a very simple and easy looking text to speech application just using Buildify and also with some basic knowledge of Python. So we have used PlayHD library in order to get the voices which are realistic. By the way, I hope this video was really helpful for you and if it was then consider subscribing. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We will meet you in the video. Until then, keep learning. Goodbye.